Hello everyone, my name is Nello from MaxSpeedMotorsports.com. Uh, this video is not about uh, how to repair your car or something like that. Uh, basically, I just want to show you one of the problems that the uh, early Panamera uh, turbos uh, developed, the 970 body, so which would, would be like 2010, 2011 models. This, is, this one is on a Panamera turbo. And um, if you do get a massive antifreeze leak uh, where the coolant is leaking big time underneath your car and where that leak shows up is pretty much uh, between the engine and the transmission in the transmission bell housing you'll see a massive antifreeze leak um, so what happens is is that basically the thermostat housing is the issue as you can see here the thermostat housing breaks the piping breaks and pretty much delivers coolant all the way in the back and it's pretty hard to see when the intake is on top of the car, uh, on top of the engine, I mean, and stuff like that. But this is what it looks like. What happens is, is that this pipe, this is the coolant pipe going to the radiator. It just disconnects. It's kind of pressed in there, like with some kind of glue or something. Uh, so it kind of pops out. Uh, pretty much this is the thermostat housing on that same car. So as you can see, the hoses are fitted in uh, pretty tight with some kind of glue. And basically what happens is they pop and uh, they leak a massive amount of antifreeze. When that happens, you gotta stop right away. You don't wanna overeat that engine and possibly blow the engine. So the fix for that is of course, replacing it with another thermostat housing. And as you can see, this is the updated version of the thermostat housing. They now bolt them in with a flange. So basically this is much better. Uh, the hoses won't pop out. Now the reason why I'm installing a used one on this car is because I did have an engine lying around off another Panamera Turbo. It had the updated uh, thermostat housing. So I'm taking this one and putting it in there. So uh, guys, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. If you do get a massive leak that's uh, between the engine and the transmission and the bell housing of the transmission, and it's very difficult to see when everything is on the car, like the intake manifold and all the covers, you can't really see the leak. You'll see the leak pretty much everywhere. Look at this one. It kind of splashed everywhere. It was completely empty. So very difficult to figure it out. And of course, as soon as you fill it up, uh, you'll, you'll see the leak. It's immediate, like you, you can't miss it. And you'll see that it leaks between the engine and the transmission. So that's one of the possible causes. I mean, it does happen on these cars. And um, it's not a cheap fix, the parts, you know, I mean, it's not that the parts, the parts will cost a couple hundred dollars. I figure with all the gaskets brand new, you're looking probably at a, you know, four or 500 bucks of parts, more or less, uh, if everything goes well. And then you got, you know, I'd say three to five hours of labor, depending on who does it and how much time it takes them. But uh, yeah, so pretty much I would say out of warranty, it'll cost you like a thousand dollars to get this fixed, maybe cheaper but on average a thousand. So as you can see, the splash is pretty much everywhere. This, play, this coolant was splashed everywhere. So hopefully this video helps. So uh, if you do get one of these problems, at least you get an idea of what it might be. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be posting more videos of cars I service with possible issues or what the problems are. So that way uh, all you uh, YouTubers out there can get an idea of what's going on with your car. Thank you very much.